when I was evaluating autistic savants and testing them for, for example, them, some children have been able to generate the periodic table without ever having been exposed to it. And when, when I was testing their information, one of the things that came up for me is that if they are telepathic and I'm looking at the information or I know the information, then how do I know that they're not accessing that from my mind? And when I started talking with the parents of these children and asked them, well, what do you think is the way in which they're obtaining this information? They said, oh, you know, they are telepathic. And so I started testing them for telepathy. And I found that the autistic children who were the oftentimes the most accurate, I mean, I'm talking about, they would be scoring pretty much 100% accuracy if it wasn't for typos that, that are in there. Um, it was the children who were basically they, they're, they're called nonverbal and, and these are the children who were developing oftentimes normally but then they regressed in their development and they lost their ability to speak and so they needed to find another way of communicating and so they started to um, it may be that they they found t telepathy as a way of communicating, or it may be that that's the way all of us are when we're born and that we have this ability to access um, non-local information from those people that we have a close bond with and that that ability then disappears as we mature and we acquire language, but that it actually plays a role in the development of language. And I, I I'm not the only person who's ever proposed that it's possible that we're, we're born with this ability and it goes away. And these children seem to be um, perhaps living proof of that.